With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Here the assertion says that the total flux through a closed surface is zero if no charge is enclosed by the surface. Reason given here is Gauss law is true for any closed surface, no matter what is its shape and size. So if you see any closed surface, let's suppose this is the closed surface, and here the charge enclosed is Q, right? So for any closed surface, the surface integral of this uh, E should be equals to charge enclosed by epsilon naught. Simple. Now E dot d is for this surface if, if you see will be equals to that is the flux that will be equals to the net charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Now you can see the statement again in, in this question it is said that the total flux which is this E dot d s for the all the surface is equals to net charge enclosed. So here it is said that the, if there is no charge enclosed then total flux will be zero. So this statement is completely true. And if you see the reason, in the reason it is said that the Gauss law is true for any closed surface no matter what is the shape and size. So yeah this is also true. Right, the shape and size doesn't matter if you applying the Gauss law for any closed surface. The surface should be closed then that uh, total flux would be equals to net charge enclosed by epsilon not independent of the shape and size. So this is also true. So both statement and assertion is, is true here but reason is not a correct explanation for the assertion. So B will be the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.